What's up again? It's a new week and so I got a new motion design effect for you. So if you want to do something like this, keep watching. I saw Nick Meduka and Vincent Schwenk creating this effect in Houdini and Cinema 4D, but I think somehow we should recreate this in Blender 2, so I wanted to figure out a workaround for this. By the way, I got a Patreon now, so if you want to support me or have full access to my project files, just follow the link in the description. So as you can see, that's my scene here. Let me hide everything that's not necessary for the simulation. As you can see, it's just some simple geometry here. Um, all of those are set to rigid body and I got a force field so the rigid bodies are behaving a little bit more interesting and constantly interacting with each other. Let me show you my settings real quick so you can stop the video and copy them. Um, basically that's all default except the shape I set it to box and basically all of my rigid bodies got the same settings so you don't have to do anything but just duplicating the object. And if you got more complex shapes than me you can set the shape to mesh and then Blender calculates the rigid body dynamics based on the mesh of this and not on just the box. Now check collision margin and set it to a low number like I did like 0.001 and then afterwards go into your scene settings. Inside of the rigid body world tab you can change your scene length and also your sub steps rate. And what you want to do is go and check the split impulse options and set both of those numbers to 20. The last thing that I did is I created a sphere to keep those rigid bodies when they kind of pop out exploding inbound so they don't fly away. And now let me show you in a new scene how to do this effect. So I'm using a cube here, you can use every mesh you want to. The second step is add a force field to your mesh. Go into the physics properties and set the strength to something like minus 400. Select your cube and make it a rigid body. Make sure to set it to active, check the dynamic option and change the shape based on your object's mesh. Change your sensitivity margin to a small number like 0.001 and that's basically it for the settings in here. Now press play and you can see your rigid body interacting with the force field. Just duplicate your rigid body as often as you want to, then press play and see them interacting with each other. So we want some rigid bodies that pop out out of nowhere and for this you want to just duplicate your cube one more time. Then go on the timeline to a frame if you're liking, hit I and apply a keyframe for only the scale. Now go one frame back on your timeline and scale your object down so you can't see it anymore in the viewport. Something like this. Press I again and set another keyframe for the scale. So we're imitating a kind of spawning effect with this or cloning effect. You can see those exploding like crazy and we got a solution for this too. Now select your small cube and duplicate it as much as you want to. Make sure to change the location on each duplicated object a little bit and also move the keyframes on the timeline so your objects don't pop in all at the same time. Now your simulation may look something like this and to avoid this kind of popping all over the whole map we have to create kind of a cage. So create a UV sphere and scale it up so all of your rigid body objects are covered with it, just like so. Make your sphere a rigid body and set type to passive. Now under the shape you can set it to mesh. You will hide this afterwards in the render so let me set it to wired. Press play and you can see that your sphere is kind of holding your cubes together. But I don't like that they are exploding like crazy. So the last step that you have to do is for your simulation to work smoothly. Go into your scene settings and under rigid body world check the split impulse option and set both values to 20. As you can see now the simulation is a lot more calmer and smoother than before. Now make sure that your scene got some nice lighting and some appealing textures. If you get any questions on this, leave a comment below or just write me a DM on Instagram. If you want to support me, subscribe to my Patreon or leave a like and never stop blending and never stop being creative, guys. See you next time.